Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So in the last video I compared the physical differences between uh, paraffin wax and beeswax. A lot of people were upset that I didn't do a flame test, you know, actually make a candle and see how they compare. I uh, can't say that even crossed my mind. Uh, when I was making the list of physical properties that I wanted to test, I guess fire was on a different list. Anyway, uh, Let's remedy that and let's do the video now. So first of all, uh, this wax that's in here, people have informed me that this isn't actually paraffin wax, it's a soy wax. Uh, that opens up a whole nother can of worms. That's even a little bit different color, isn't it? Well, there's just so many things to test. I think what I'm going to do is melt some of the paraffin, put it in here, let it cool, and do the same with the beeswax. Drop in the wicks, presumably before it cools. And then we'll do a time lapse of them burning. So that ought to be pretty simple. All right, without further ado, let's hit it with a torch and fill these dishes with their respective waxes. So something that a few people commented on was the fact that I poured the paraffin wax first and the uh, beeswax always stayed warmer. And they claimed that since I poured the paraffin first, it had more time to cool down. If that's the case, why did the beeswax freeze first? Also, some people analyzed the data a little bit better for me, and it looks like the beeswax had a little bit less sharp of a freezing point. Like it had more of a range, which makes sense, because this has not been engineered to contain only one molecule like this has. Let's put these wicks down into the wax. Hopefully it's cooled down enough not to cause issues. As I mentioned in the previous video, the beeswax and paraffin are about the same density when solid, but when liquid, the paraffin is less dense. This causes all sorts of problems, like I didn't have the same mass of wax. But it is much more convenient to do it by volume. I mean, if you're filling a container with melted wax, the volume is really what matters. And based on that, it would appear that uh, beeswax is actually a better storage of energy. Although it is hot enough to burn you. And that, of course, was another thing people wanted me to test. So these uh, two waxes are still liquid, but they're very close to freezing. If I stick my fingers in each. Yeah, the beeswax feels much hotter. In fact, I have to pull my finger out. It's just too hot. The paraffin wax, I can just kind of keep it here comfortably. <laughs> and I guess the final thing that people were commenting on is they wanted to know what would happen if you mix the two. Well, that is a fairly common thing. And uh, there's all sorts of different ratios I could mix, and that's just so many variables again. But in general, it seems to me they don't really do anything interesting. They just kind of are miscible with each other. If there's still enough interest, I might try like a small test. Okay, the wax hasn't completely solidified yet. So let's weigh it. Okay, so that's 12.55 grams. The beeswax is 13.85. So the beeswax is about a gram heavier. So tell you what we'll do is we're going to add a little bit more paraffin to make sure we have the same mass of wax. Just a little bit more. Now I know I filled both of these up to the same level. <laughs> Alright, I think that's close enough. So, yeah, the Paraffin does decrease in volume substantially as it cools. The problem with doing this is the paraffin is now actually above the rim. But as it cools, it will shrink back down. So the candles are now cooled off. They both weigh the same, and I think we're ready to go. I'm going to place them in this metal dish insulated from the table. So they don't start any fires. I mean, other than the one intended. <laughs> I'd like both at the same time. There we go. I should get that time lapse camera going. Where is it? This is interesting. 
The beeswax candle is producing a smaller flame. There was a lot of glare on the camera from the pan, so I put a piece of cardboard down in there. I mean, that's not exactly non-flammable, but at least it's not so shiny. Okay, fine. I'll get the cardboard wet so it can't burn. Happy fire marshals. Alright, so it's been several hours and the candles have now gone out. Uh, judging from the time lapse, it looked like the paraffin wax candle went out in about an hour and a half, whereas the beeswax candle burned for about four and a half hours. So let's see here. And 10.2 grams. So it burned about three and a half. Half, 8.68. So the paraffin wax burned more in a shorter period of time. And that makes a lot of sense. The beeswax has a higher melting point, so it's harder for the flame to melt more wax into it. Whereas the paraffin was able to flow right into the wick. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.